Well, hello everyone. It's Brad and Robert with our Clarity Clip of the Week again. And we're standing here by the Newton Cabin in Old Town, Small Town America in Midlothian, my new home. Just recently built a house down here and moved down here, got out of the hustle and bustle of, of the northern, really southern Kansas, Prosper. And um, we've been having a lot of discussions and seeing a lot out there online about these new top line domains or TLDs. Um, and we've had a lot of discussions about them and I know there's a lot of confusion out there. And really give us the rundown kind of where these things started and why now everybody seems to be all in uproar about them. So those new, these new top level domains are, are dot horse or dot dentist, dot muse. So there's a, good Lord, there must be 400 of them. And yeah, they're all bunch. aimed at business, dot attorney, dot lawyer, dot legal. So whatever your business, that's there. So one of the things we know, it will help Google in their indexing of trying to determine what is your website about. Okay. There is a little advantage there. And then what we've seen and talking, we've talked with Bill Hartzer and what Bill mm -hmm. is, he's been doing domain sales and auctions since 1996. And so what Bill is seeing is that this also gives you some new real estate for keywords. You know, you might want Dallas, yes. Fort Worth plumber, well, you can't get that in a dot com, but in these news, and there's a dot plumber, you yep. can go get it. It's going to cost you some money. Right. But Bill explains here what the advantage is, what he's done with one of his studies. The idea is, is that there's keywords in the endings, and they really describe what your website is about or your business is about. And that allows, you know you to really have that branding opportunity to show users and visitors you know, and, and the search engines and so forth that that's what your company is about, that particular keyword. There's a lot of really good opportunities there. Well, I think one of the interesting things that we heard from Bill just then was, it's really about keywords, but not keywords that you're going out there for Google ad search and paying for, it's a little different approach. Well, ju just because you run out there and buy dot attorney doesn't mean you're <laughs> going to automatically rank. But um, if you get the right keywords right. in there, you're, you're going to be more competitive in those search results. And he's got two case studies that he talked about yeah. where that has worked. So, I mean, one of the unique ones was just real quick, just kind of put it in perspective is he took an attorney in Jacksonville, Florida who was not ranking at all, had the standard yeah. so-and-so-law.com kind yeah. of deal. He put Jacksonville.attorney, and he immediately ranked on the first page within a small, a, a very minute period of time. If you are in a particular region, like a city, in one particular city, and it is fairly competitive, if you can show everybody by having the city, your, your city name, you know, Dallas.attorney, Jacksonville.attorney, Denver.attorney, and you are the attorney in that city, and, and you, know, you have the premier domain name for, you know, you are the Denver attorney. And when people do search for a Denver attorney, if you move from your .com to your Denver.attorney, and you use you know, the Google change of address tool and you literally move your website from that .com to that attorney, I do think you're gonna see a lot of better results um, by using a .attorney um, um, domain name. Let's say I'm a national practice as an attorney. Am I better off leaving my firm name there or should I do the specificity of what, I, what, I, what practice I specialize in? National. Yes, if you have the option, you know, if you have the option to, you know, and that name is available, if you are, you know, a, a criminal defense attorney um, and you go get to criminal, criminal defense dot attorney, um, if you are, you know, if there is a generic word that you can pair with, you know, that, that dis perfectly describes your business, um, then that, that just as just as buying criminaldefenseattorney.com, you know, criminal, criminaldefense.attorney really perfectly describes, you know, your business. And that is a great opportunity for not only just, 
you know, search engine rankings, but overall branding, and you're showing all of your visitors, and you're showing your 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 customer base and potential customers, your potential clients, that you are the you know the the criminal defense attorney, or you are the Denver attorney, or you know you are describing your business um, right at the beginning, even when, before they even click on your website, they will know that what you do. And um, whether they see it in an offline ad, in the, you know, in, in the newspaper, or an online ad, or they see it in the search results, they will see that domain name. That's the first thing they see before they click to your website. And then when you and, think about that, that makes sense because what are people searching for? Jacksonville attorneys. So he automatically gets that gets that little pop. But you have so. to think this through. And also, uh, some of these domains are they're difficult to get. It might cost you three to four thousand right. dollars on some of these. They're a premium. Yep. Uh, but it looks like they'll pay dividends, particularly um, you know if you're in a paying business. What do you think about customers. that compared to ad budget? Yes. That's the way you got to look at it. Yeah. I mean that's the way. That's you have a to good look way to look. And you still have to, you still have to do the, you know that everybody talks about. Oh, you mean I could just go? No, there's no shortcuts online. You right. still have to build the content. You still have to drive people to your site. You still have to have the links. Yes. You still have to do all the normal things that you need to be doing with a website. The difference is you're just taking a little different approach with keywords in your actual URL. One key takeaway that he advises everyone too is that if you're a, a big company, big business, make sure you're trademarked. Otherwise, mm. somebody can go hijack your domain yes. uh, and be out there using it. They, you, you have a way to contest things if they're violating your yeah, trademark. That's a good point. And uh, there are some companies uh, went out and trademarked without checking for domains and somebody already had the domain. And, That's a no-no. And they're out of luck because if you've gotten the domain before the trademark was applied right. for, they it's get yours. It. That's right. Yeah. That's correct. Well, that's our Clarity Clip. Don't forget to get out there and keep hustling.